Typically, what an armed opponent first asks of you is your wallet. So the first thing I want to show you is when you reach for your wallet and how to throw it at the opponent. For example, you have the wallet in your back pocket and you have an opponent armed with a knife. So I want to show you how to properly throw the wallet. You want to throw the wallet in such a way so that you're hitting your right hand with your left hand in the wrist. After which the wallet is released and is aimed for either the face or the chest of the opponent. So this is how it looks. And immediately after the throw you can start working against the knife. Similarly is the work for when you're throwing the wallet from overhand. I've reached for the wallet. And you're throwing it right at the chest in this case. So the right action of throwing. If the opponent is not far from you, you're throwing the wallet in the face. But if the opponent is further away than you, uh, than let's say five or six feet, you're throwing it in his chest. With a larger object like a chair, from a further distance you're aiming for the head. Because a larger object will even cover if the opponent is moving the head off to the side. But into the chest if you're standing closer. So you pull the wallet out, and that's the motion that you're doing. Why this motion is good? Because the motion is going rather than to him, back away from him and it doesn't scare the opponent. And after that you can knock the knife out. You can either toss it underhand or overhand. So for example, you have the knife right pressed right up against your body. You pull the wallet out and you open it up. After which it's easier to cover the blade of the knife with the wallet. With the other hand you grab by the open part of the wallet and twist the knife and pull it out of the hand. So again, he's got the knife. You grab it so that you don't cut your hand and start to twist. Now it's easier to knock the knife out of the hand. When you've grabbed the wallet uh, by the blade of the knife, the other hand goes right under the wrist. And one hand is, stays under the wrist and the other one uses it as a leverage point and twists. This hand shouldn't move at all. Just your right hand is twisting. See, if I'm moving both hands, he'll be able to move away. So one hand stays still and the other one is twisting. So again, the knife is at your stomach. So again, you show the opponent that it is a wallet, you open it up. You can move off to the side a bit. You cover the blade with the wallet. 
You could hit at the base of the wrist in order to loosen the grip. And rip the knife out. Similarly, you can do it go ahead downwards off to the side. Okay, so this way, after you've removed the knife, you can grab it and control the opponent. If, for example, the knife is right at your throat, take a sort of a deep breath, send your chest forward, cover with your wallet the blade of the knife, and just close it up with your other hand. And then after that you just rip it out of the opponent's hand. And after you pull the knife out, you can hit the opponent, let's say, with the blade of the knife. The, the basic principle is, again, to cover the blade of the knife using your wallet so you don't cut your hand, whether it be at your stomach or at your throat. So these are ba uh, very basic movements, and it's, uh, they're fairly easy to practice. So again, another variation of working with the wallet against the knife. So in this case, you're sort of moving your own body away by the wallet. Then you grab the opponent by the wrist. If it's a fairly heavy wallet that you carry, you can hit at the thumb of the opponent or at the blade of the knife. After which you can go for the face, uh, eyes, uh, mouth area of the opponent. So again, you are twisting the hand, you're hitting on the fingers, on the blade. You can right away go for the eyes, and, and after that, on the follow-through, hit the blade. For example, in this case, the wall wallet is open. And in this case, you move the knife off to the side and then cover his eyes with the wallet. And after that, knock the knife out. I'll show you now how. See, you've moved the knife out of the way. Now you've got the wallet open. Then it's easy to hit the opponent in the eyes. After which it's easy to hit in the wrist so that you knock the knife out. You can again hit in the eyes, on the nose, on the ears. And then after that you remove the knife.